Hey guys, so today is the day that I get to write almost all of my 10 page paper. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna run off to uh, get some food, get some lunch, and I'm gonna pick up like an extra sandwich or something in case I work through dinner, because I probably will because I have a 10 page paper to write. Uh, but what's gonna happen is I'm basically just gonna lock myself on the sixth floor of the main building and uh, not leave until it's done, or at least seven pages of it's done, and I can do the other three tomorrow. But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm gonna need to find some ways to entertain myself, and because uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be really bored writing a paper. I'm going. joke because it's so nice outside. I would do my homework outside but I need a charger so I can't do that. Also, sixth floor of Maine was closed and I'm pissed so I don't know where I'm gonna go do my homework. We'll find out. Okay guys so a few minor setbacks. Uh, the sixth floor of Maine building was locked after I walked up all six flights of stairs. I'm a little bit upset, but it's fine. Uh, so now I am in Corin. I'm in the uh, the room that I had my J term class, and you can see here I opened up all the windows to get some nice vitamin D in here, even though I'm not getting a whole lot of it. Uh, I've got my lunchable that I bought from the C store for uh, for dinner at about what times right now. At about like five, probably maybe six. I'm pretty sure I'll still be working on this at about five, maybe six. So, but I already have some stuff done. I have an introduction, which isn't the first thing I wrote, but I thought of a pretty good idea for it. I think it's probably terrible. I just need to turn out very shitty first draft today. That's all I'm going for, and I'll let you know how it goes. There are just children screaming. I don't think they understand that I have things to do. <laughs> They're so loud. So good news, I just heard whoever the parent is say, okay, time to go, now, get your coat on. Big huge update, it's quiet. Don't you love that moment when you're just typing and then it goes on to the next page and you're like, wow, I've already typed a whole page. Hey guys, so I'm uh, two pages in. I'm at uh, 667 words. The minimum requirement is 2,400. No, 6,000, or 667 words. Okay, for so for any of you guys who don't actually know me, which I don't know, uh, well, I am a student at Luther College, and here we have a class that we have to take are called Paideia, which is kind of a mix between humanities and English. In the second semester of Paideia, we have a research paper that we have to do. And we're down to the last week, but I'm feeling like I'm in a pretty okay spot. My class, which is section 26, has the topic of uh, the disability rights movement. And within that, there are so many different things that you can do. There's people talking about ugly laws, autism, about American Sign Language, about oralism, about uh, euthanasia. There's so many different topics. My topic that I'm writing on, however, is uh, about freak shows. If you guys have seen the movie The Greatest Showman, it was a great movie. It was just problematic in a lot of ways. And uh, so, that's really what got me interested in the idea of doing freak, sh of freak shows as a paper. Uh, but my narrow topic is uh, General Tom Thumb, who, if you did see Greatest Showman, 
was the little person who was riding on the horse and whatnot. And uh, his story is actually way more interesting than Ginny Lind. So that's another reason why I'm bothered by the movie, because they just decided, oh, let's talk about this white lady with privilege. She's important, right? No. Should have talked about anyone else in the freak show. So yeah, that's my, that's my overall topic, and I'm kind of arguing that his life was made through his exploitation. Like, he was actually a great performer. He had amazing comedic timing. He was an amazing performer. He could sing, he could dance, whatnot. And he just happened to be lucky enough to be discovered, I guess, by P.T. Barnum. He made his life incredibly successful. He made an incredible amount of money. He could have retired before he was a teenager and lived a comfortable life. That's how much money he made. Through the exploitation of these people and with their talent and their strategy, I guess, to get around it, they've actually made themselves an incredibly successful life. And at times it's even empowering. Like, there's a, there's a documentary that I watched called Adam Pearson's Freak Show. Would recommend. Go watch it. It has a lot of great information. But I wanted to say something, I guess, about what my paper is and not just show me writing my paper, so yeah. So I thought that I was gonna do a little, like, outline of my paper on, a, on an actual piece of paper. Like, I had it all set up, and then, being the great college student I ha am, having two pencils, I don't have either of them, so I guess I'm gonna do that on my computer, too. Well, I'm at 1,096 words, uh, just over three pages, I think, and my eyes are getting a little tired, so I'm gonna do something, because uh, I, just, I just typed out two paragraphs. upset at myself. I forgot my charger in my room. I was just gonna stay in here until I finished my paper, but surprise, surprise, I forgot my charger in my room. So I have to go get that. Okay guys, I'm back. Got my computer charger, but I didn't think, oh, I should make sure that I have my computer charger because I just figured it was in my bag. Now I'm going to go back to working, because I need to do stuff. I'm currently sitting on the floor, because this outlet is just not quite close enough to that table. So this page will be written on the floor, so if you ever read page four of my paper... I'm halfway there, whoa! I'm at 1,294 words, minimum is only... 2400. So I'm getting there. Woo. Okay. I'm at 1300 words. It's been four ish hours. Okay. So I'm sleepy and I still have plenty of time left in the day. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to eat this Lunchable because I'm also hungry. Now I'm going to go take like a 30, 40 minute nap, take a shower, and then get right back to work. It's uh, 6.26 right now. And I've got about a thousand words left to write. All this is is a first draft, so I'm gonna get what I need to done, and I'll be revising it all of next week and whatnot. Here come the last thousand words. Hopefully I have enough vigor from my nap to do it. I 
did it. I hit the minimum requirement of words. <laughs> and since it's just a first draft, it's good enough for now. I'll be revising and adding to it surely a lot this week. But I have a draft. Happy day. And now I'm gonna go do something that's not schoolwork. Because I'm sick of it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I, this was the only thing that kept me going through all this work, was making this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun, I guess, to make. It was fun to make, it wasn't fun to go through the process. Um, so uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like uh, and subscribe, and I'll leave some links to